from BB Library and welcome to Toddler Storytime. And today, even though it's 10 o'clock in the morning now I'm filming, I'm pretending that this is a pajama story time, a nighttime story time. So <laughs> I came into our guest bedroom and uh, turned the lights down so it's a little bit cozier feeling. And I have got all sorts of things about bedtime and nighttime. And so let's get started. So let's say, first of all, say hello friends because it's time to say hello and why don't we because it's nighttime why don't we do it very softly so we'll do it once singing and the second time let's not sing let's just let's just do the sign language so here we go we're gonna sing first so hello friends hello friends hello friends it's time to say hello now Good job, all right. And let's wake up our hands. This won't be so quiet. We're gonna wake up our hands with a clap, clap, clap. And then we'll try some things that I can do because I'm sitting down where parts of my body can come to the camera that, um, that it normally doesn't. So here we go. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Can we, can we? Wake up our feet with a kick, kick, kick. We wake up our feet with a kick, 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 kick. We wake up our feet with a kick, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. And I can see my, you can see my knees here. I've got my pajamas and so, so we're gonna wake up our knees with a bend, bend, bend. We wake up our knees with a bend, 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 bend. Bend, bend, bend. We wake up our knees with a bend, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Can we wake up our mouth with a <sighs> yawn, yawn, yawn? We wake up our mouth with a yawn, 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 <sighs> yawn, 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 <sighs> yawn, yawn, yawn. Wake up our mouths with a yawn, 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 <sighs> and we wiggle our waggles away. All right, do some things with the fingers. I have a new one for you, but we're gonna do an old one first. And that is, this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Let's do it one more time. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. All right. <laughs> Ready for some? Itsy Bitsy Spider, we can climb this way or we can climb with our fingers or we can just, you can even climb up your arm any way you'd like to do it. So here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. <laughs> My new one is making your fingers make your fingers dance can you just make them kind of wiggle them around and kind of move your hands around like they're dancing so first one is dance your fingers up dance your fingers down dance your fingers to the side dance your fingers all around dance them on your shoulders dance them on your head dance them on your tummies and tuck them into bed Let's try that one again because that's a brand one so so we're gonna dance our fingers up then we're gonna turn them upside down dance our fingers down we're gonna dance our fingers to the side you can go to either side or both sides and dance them all around are they still dancing so dance them on your shoulders dance them on your head dance them on your tummy and put them all to bed 
All right. <laughs> well, we're going to play a, a little bit of Monkey and Me. I've got some animals, but what they all have in common is these are animals that you don't see in the daytime. They're animals who sleep all day and they're up awake all night. They're called nocturnal animals. That's nighttime animals. And some are surprised, in fact, um, what they are. So the first one, we'll do monkey and me. So monkey and me, monkey and me, monkey and me went out to see some, ooh, I don't want to shine, there we go, some raccoons. So raccoons are animals that are nocturnal. They, they are awake at night or, and they are fast asleep during the day. So here's another one, monkey and me. Monkey and me, monkey and me went out to see some, some tigers. Let me get that close enough. There we go. Some tigers. Tigers are animals too that they are up all night long looking for food and they sleep during the day. And do you know what other, if you have a cat at home, your cat is actually nocturnal. I don't know about yours, but mine definitely um, is, is up a bit during the day, but um, she does most of her sleeping during the daytime. And I have one more here. Monkey and me, monkey and me, monkey and me went out to see some, oops, I've got to get rid of the shine. Here we go. Went out to see some owls. And definitely, owls are the, one of those animals you always associate with being up all night long. So I have a I have a book that is about an owl. It's called Little Owl's Night. I hope the pages aren't that shiny. And it's written by by Divya Saranavasam, and it's published by Viking Books. So let me. There we go. Yeah, my pages. There we go. Little Owl's Night. I want to get to an angle that, that the book is not shining. There we go. There, that's much better here. Little Owl is having a wonderful night. In fact, here are some things too in here that are night. These flowers are night flowering flowers. And snails are out at night. So all these things you see are things that are up while we're fast asleep. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. So opossums. We have those here and they're out at night. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch and skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. I didn't know that skunks ate snails. I learned that from this book. By the river, beavers gnawed at trees. Gnaws just mean they were chewing on trees. That's what they do. They actually cut down trees by chewing on them and falling them, having them fall over. Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. So turtles and fireflies, two more night animals. Little Owl visited his friend, the raccoon. And as they sat in the clover, Fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Little Owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. In fact, the moon, there's something else that's out of night. On the way, Little Owl flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was still inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear! Don't sleep all night, Little Owl sang. I want to show you the moon. There we go. But the bear kept snoring as usual. Little Owl flew home to, to his tree gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. So what do you think about bears? You think they're up at night or at the daytime? Because they're sleeping at night. Yeah, they're daytime animals. Little Owl sat on his branch. 
how he loved the night forest. Frog croaked softly. Crickets chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. A fox had come to say hello. In fact, look there, there's a bunny right there as the, the bunny is sleeping, so the bunny's not a nighttime animal. It was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, said little Owl, Owl whispered, tell me again how night ends. The moon and the stars fade to ghosts, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads. Dewdrops sparkle on the leaves and grass like tiny stars come down. Moonflowers close and morning glories open. The sun brightens from black to blue, blue to red, red to gold. Look what's happening over here. It's not dark anymore. Looks like the sun's coming up. The rooster crows, the crows caw, and the days begin. But little owl did not hear. He was fast asleep. So that is Little Owl's Night. I'm sorry, it was a shiny book. All right, I'm gonna get the flannel board and we'll do some flannel. Okay, ready for some stories, um, flannel stories. I have a new one and it is about one, two, three, four and five pairs of pajamas at a pajama party. So it goes like this, it goes. There were five pairs of pajamas dancing at the pajama party. Five pairs of pajamas dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo. Until one pair of pajamas said, holy moly, it's time for bed. And one went home. So now we have one, two, three, four. There were four pairs of pajamas dancing at the pajama party. Four pairs of pajamas dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo until one of the pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. And one went to go to sleep. So we have one, two, three. There were three pairs of pajamas dancing at the pajama party. Three pairs of pajamas dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo until one the pairs of pajamas said, Holy moly, it's time for bed. And they left. Only two left. There were two pairs of pajamas dancing at the pajama party. Two pairs of pajamas dancing till it was 7.30. They danced around the room. They danced the hullabaloo until one of the pairs of pajamas said, holy moly, it's time for bed, and left. So we just have one pair of pajamas there. There was one pair of pajamas dancing at the pajama party. One pair of pajamas dancing till it was 7.30. She danced around the room. She danced the hullabaloo until that pair of pajamas said, holy moly, it's time for bed. Good night. So I think that's fun. That's a perfect one for, for a night. So I'm gonna put up, this is a song that we have sung, but 
I thought we'd put up a little flannel and sing along to it because it's a great, it's my lullaby. Um, that is, I see the moon, the moon sees me down through the leaves. So we're going to hide this right here, peeking out. Can you see it peeking out from the leaves of the tree? So here we go. I see the moon, the moon sees me down through the leaves of the old oak tree. Please let the light that shines on me shine on the one I love. I see the moon, the moon sees me down through the leaves of the old oak tree. Please let the light that shines on me shine on the one I love. So I thought it would be fun to do that using a, a tree and the moon. So it's time for some ache and drum. Here we go. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Ake and Drum. And his hair was made of a rocket, a rocket, a rocket. And his hair was made of a rocket, and his name was Ake and Drum. And his eyes were made of stars. And his eyes were made of stars, of stars, of stars. And his eyes were made of stars. And his name was Aiken Drum. And his nose was made of earth. And his nose was made of earth, of earth, of earth. And his nose was made of earth. And his name was Aiken Drum. And his mouth was made of the, a little bit higher here, made of the sun. In fact, let me move this all up so we can see the sun. There we go. That's a little better. Get that up a little higher. There we go. Can we see the sun? Yes, there we go. And his mouth was made of the sun, the sun, the sun. And his mouth was made of the sun. And his name was Aiken Drum. And his ears were made from a couple, a couple aliens. Let's put the aliens up there. And his ears were made of aliens, aliens, aliens. And his ears were made of aliens. And his name was Ake and Drum. Ready to go fast? Here we go. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon. And his name was Ake and Drum. All right. Good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put the flannel board away. And I'll see you in a second. So I have, I have my favorite blanket that we can use instead of a scarf. It's a little harder to use, but it's kind of fun. I like having my blanket with me. You have a favorite blanket? Yeah, they're, they're really, really good. This is the one I always go to. So we can do our song with it. It's a little harder to wave it. I'm just gonna pick it up. So these are, we wave our blankets together because it's fun to do. We wave our blankets together because it's fun to do. We can wave them up high. We can wave them down low. We can wave them in the middle. We wave our blankets together because it's fun to do. We wave our blankets together because it's fun to do. We can wave them up high. We can wave them down low. We can wave them in the middle. We wave our blankets together because it's fun to do. Well, here's a good one to hide behind and pop out and say peekaboo because it's so big. So, we can do if you're happy and you know it, and we can um, we can hide and go peekaboo. If you're happy and you know it, hide behind your blanket, <gasps> peekaboo. If you're happy and you know it, hide behind your blanket, peekaboo. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, hide behind your blanket and play peekaboo. Now I'm gonna get this all ready. I'm gonna open it up. Get your blanket all ready. And we're going to, if we're happy to know it, we're gonna, oof, we're gonna get all cozy. If you're happy and you know it, get all cozy. If you're happy and you know it, get all cozy. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, get all cozy. If you're happy and you know it, make a pillow and snore. If you're happy to know it, make a pillow and snore. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, make a pillow and snore. Oh, 
I like having, I'm going to keep my blanket right here. I, I like it. It feels good. Well, I have a song that is an old Mother Goose rhyme, and it has to do with the stars. When you go outside at night, do you ever look up at the stars? Because they, they're so beautiful. I love looking at the stars. My husband and I go out and we walk and look at the stars most nights. And there's an old Mother Goose rhyme that is about the very first star that you see at night. And what you can do on that first star is you can make a wish. And the rhyme is, it's starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. The song goes like this, it goes, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. So I'm gonna hold this up like it's the first star that we see. We're gonna pretend that's up in the sky. And so, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. So that's such a great rhyme. That's definitely one to practice and learn. I, the reason why I sang that song is I found this book at the library and I really liked it. It's called Grandpa's Wish List. And look, they're up there looking at, could be the could be the first star they see at night, although I see other stars. And something that you should know is that before you came home with your mom and dad, after you were born, there were so many people who were thinking about you and wondering what you would be like and making wishes for you. And this story just reminds me of that. It's grandfather and grandmother, but this book could be about your aunts or your uncles, or it could be about friends of your family. It could be about your brothers and sisters if you have them. Anybody in your family, they're all saying, oh, we can't wait for the baby to come home. We can't wait. And so this is the story of, of grandpa thinking about his, about his grandson. But again, this book could be about anybody thinking about, um, thinking about new babies. So here we go. Oh, the shine. There we go. All right. What wonderful news. You are here at last. Oh, there they are. They're on the phone and they've just heard that oh, they're going to be bringing you home. I am going to be so busy getting ready for you. I'd better make a list. So organize my workshop is the first thing on the list. It says, I need to organize my workshop because I'm wishing you will be a creative thinker. Creative thinker just means you have lots of great ideas. Second on the list is shine up my old brass trumpet. I will shine and tune my trumpet because I'm wishing that you will love to make music. And we can make music with all kinds of things. Look, he's making music with, with some pots and some spoons and stuff, and you can make it with your voice when you sing. Lots of ways to make music. Build a tree house. I planned to build a tree house because I'm wishing you will have an amazing imagination. I bet you all have amazing imaginations, can think of lots of good ideas. Here we go. New string on my fishing pole. I should restring my fishing pole because I'm wishing for lots of outdoor days with you. And your outdoors days don't have to be fishing. They can be playing in the park. They could be going to the playground. They could be going for a bike ride or a walk. Fix that little bicycle bell. I'm fixing the bell on that little bike because I'm wishing that you'll be brave and try new things. Patch the camping tent. I need to patch the camping tent because I'm wishing we'll have adventures together. Dust off the telescope. I will dust off our telescope because I'm wishing you will be full of wonder. And I'm sorry, that page is just a very shiny page. Full of wonder. Oh, look, they're looking at that star. It looks kind of like the the front of the book, doesn't it? They're looking at the star. Wish list. And the top of the wish list is love you forever. But the first thing on my list is to hold you <laughs> and tell you how much I love you. 
there we are with a new baby home. So all that dreaming was, was before he had actually met the, met the new baby. So that is Grandpa's Wish List. I think that's a really sweet book. I have one more star song, I bet you know. I bet you know Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That's, a, that's one of my favorites. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, well, it's time for us to do some brown bear, brown bear. Our brown bear. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Okay, brown bear, brown bear. All right, well, um, it's time for us to say goodbye, and um, I hope that I see you next week. So, And I hope you have a, a great week, and hope you hear some great stories, and sing some great songs, and have some amazing adventures. So let's say goodbye to our friends. And just like we did, why don't we sing it once with the words, and then we'll just... Okay, goodbye. Sorry, I'm, I'm saying hello. Goodbye. And then we'll just do it once quietly, and then we'll go really quiet for the end. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.